Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the releases video of all releases video. Everything in entertainment media um, tends to come out in the spring and in the fall. Like we have a lull in the summer, we have a lull in the winter time, and we are upon the fall releases month. September is like the month for books. October has a ton also, but I feel like September is like the big one. So if you guys are new here, I basically format these videos where I go through all of the really big titles, whether that is a really well-known author or the title that is getting a lot of buzz. And then I get into really big sequels because I don't really need to give a synopsis because they're sequels to popular books. And then I get into my personal five most anticipated books and give a little more info about those five titles. And I try to focus those five on to like lesser known titles to try and like give them some hype and some love. Um, but I have a couple big ones mixed in with that as well. This is going to be a doozy of a video. Open up your Amazon cart, open up your Goodreads and hold on to your butts because it's going to be an intense ride. Alrighty, so starting with all the really big ones, like the big titles, big authors, big hyped books, we're going to start on the 3rd of September and we're going to go chronologically for all of these little segments. So starting on September 3rd, we have Loki, Where Mischief Lies by Mackenzie Lee. This is the author of Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. Um, and this is like Loki's origin story kind of, but what I'm most intrigued about this, I haven't read it yet, so I can't give you like thoughts on it. Um, on Goodreads, they list an illustrator as well. So according to the arc, there is no artwork in this book. This is just a straight novel. I'm curious to see what the finished product looks like because why is there an illustrator listed on it? I'm curious. Also on September 3rd, we are getting The Lady Rogue by Jen Bennett. This is Jen Bennett's first foray into fantasy, so I'm curious to see how she does that. We are also getting a novella called To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. This is the author of the Long Way to the Small Angry Planet series. It's a little novella. I'm very excited about it. We are also getting a Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi. This is the author of Emergency Contact, which I personally loved, and I'm currently reading this. I'm loving it so far. This is like a kind of YA to new adult. It's like college age students. Uh, contemporary story. I'm liking it so far. Okay, moving on to the second Tuesday of the month. We are moving on to September 10th. We have The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex A. Harrow. And this one has been getting so much buzz. The amount of arcs that I've seen of this book, it's just, it's everywhere. So this is coming on the 10th. Another overly hyped book is Frankly in Love by David Yoon. This is also coming out on the 10th of September. Another hugely hyped book is Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. This also comes out on the 10th. The 10th seems to be like the day to go to the store. So like save a paycheck or something for the 10th of September because that's when all of the huge ones are coming out. But this one also comes out then. And we also have Akin by Emma Donahue. I personally just follow Emma Donahue's books. Emma Donahue wrote Room, which is I think what she's the most famous for, but all of her books are super diverse. She like covers all genres and I'm very excited for this one. On the 17th of September, we have one title that is A Little Hatred by Joe Abercrombie. Joe Abercrombie is quickly becoming a huge fantasy household name. So this one is coming the following Tuesday on the 17th. Moving on to the very last Tuesday of September on the 24th, we are getting No Judgments by Meg Cabot. This is like a new adult romance. It's a contemporary romance by Meg Cabot. I'm very excited. It looks really cute. Okay, moving into sequels. This list is never ending and I apologize if I don't have all of the sequels on here. I just need to try and condense it somewhat because there are so many sequels coming out. So starting on the 3rd of September, we have probably the most anticipated sequel of the year. One of them. We have Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. This is the third and final book in the Nevernight series and Oh, my body's not ready for this one. I just read Never Night for the first time and like, whoa, man. So this one's coming out very, very soon. We are also getting Five Dark Fates by Kendara Blake. This is the fourth book. Wait, yeah, fourth, I believe fourth book in the Three Dark Crowns series. And not a direct sequel, but a companion novel to Sky in the Deep. We are also getting The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrian Young. This is also coming out on the 3rd of September. And moving into middle grade, we have Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. This is a sequel to City of Ghosts. Was that the first one? little horror middle grade series that everyone seems to love. I personally haven't gotten to it yet, but this one also comes out on the 3rd. Moving on to the 10th of September, again, the big release date. We have The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. This is the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale. Who is shocked that this came into existence? Everybody. This came out of nowhere, so this is coming on the 10th of September. We also have Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco, the fourth book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, so this is another huge title that's coming out. We have When She Reigns by Jodie Meadows. This is the third book in the 
want to say Fallen Isles trilogy. It's a dragon, girl with anxiety, really great underhyped fantasy series in the YA world. I love this one. So the third book is coming out on the 10th of September. Also, I'm covering all bases here. These are just books that are on my personal radar. We have Sinful Like Us by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is a kind of like indie published romance contemporary. Uh, saga series. I personally love Krista and Becca Ritchie books and this is just the fifth book in that series that is coming out. Moving on to the 17th of September we have Steel Tide by Natalie C. Parker. This is the follow-up to Sea Fire, I believe. Yeah, that's the first one is Sea Fire. And we also have the Tea Dragon Festival by Katie O'Neill. This is kind of a companion slash follow-up to the Tea Dragon Society, which if you guys have not hopped on this bandwagon, you should. Like, the hype is worth it. It is the cutest little graphic novel series. I will read anything Katie O'Neill puts out. It could literally be like a children's picture book and I will read it. She has a new one coming out about an axolotl. I'm hype. But this one is coming out on the 17th of September. Okay, moving into the last uh, Tuesday of September, the 24th, we have Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell, the sequel to Carry On. This also just kind of like appeared in the book world and is getting a ton of hype again because it's been a while since we've gotten a Rainbow Rowl book. So this one's coming on the 24th of September. And the last sequel that I have to mention is one that I am personally really excited about because I loved the first book. And we have Bid My Soul Farewell by Beth Revis. This is the follow up to Give the Dark My Love, which is a very dark little YA fantasy story that got like zero hype last year, but I tried to hype it as much as I possibly could. It made it to like my top 10 list of the year. I adored the first book, so I'm very excited to get to this one. Okay, and moving into the five titles that I personally just really want to talk about because I'm most excited about them. The first one being Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Mahurin. Mm -hmm. This one comes out on the 3rd of September. I, much like the rest of the YA world, I'm really anticipating this book. It's the start to a new YA fantasy series that follows witches and witch covens and witch hunting. And I believe it's almost like a historical type of setting. Um, so we're following Louise, I believe. Lou is our main character and she is a witch who ran away from her coven and is abandoning the magic lifestyle. And she ends up moving to the church, which I believe is like the town that like designates witches as bad bad things um, and is full of witch hunters. So she moves there, starts a new lifestyle there, and I believe ends up forming a relationship with a witch hunter whose entire life has been based around hunting down witches because witches shall not suffer to live. So it sounds awesome. So far all of the early buzz has been like amazing for it. I think it's going to be a very character driven fantasy, which is my jam. That's at least the vibe that I'm getting from the reviews so far. So I'm like so excited for it. So this comes out on the 3rd of September. The next book that comes out that I want to talk about also comes out on the 3rd of September and I have already read it. It was my favorite book of last month and that is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. This is an adult contemporary romance that follows a renaissance fair and it was everything. This is one of my top romances of the year. This is one of my top books of the year in general. I feel like I should say that instead. Um, this is a debut book and I just loved it to pieces. So this basically follows um, a girl who moves to a town to help take care of her sister and her niece because her sister was in a car accident and is really struggling with like just kind of day-to-day -day life. So she moves in with her sister after a really horrendous breakup and she doesn't really have anything in her life. So she like moves in decides to like take on this lifestyle and she ends up getting recruited to be a volunteer to be a tavern wench at their local renaissance festival and it follows her relationship with kind of the coordinator of the festival and it's a hate to love story it's so stinking cute. I just adored this book so much. This got released early for Book of the Month so you might have seen a lot of people already reading this and talking about it because it did come out a month early through Book of the Month. So like good job Jen DeLuca because that's awesome but this is easily one of my favorite books of the year so far so this is not necessarily me being like I'm excited for it. I'm like you should pick this up. It's really good. The next book I want to talk about is one that just came onto my radar and I am so excited because it's like totally a buzzword type of book for me and that is Trapeze by Lee Ansel or Ansel. I don't know um, and this comes out on September 10th so like the second Tuesday of September and obviously by the cover by the title you guys know the direction this story is going and I am on board. Any book that has to deal with any sort of traveling circus or like freak show or anything in that environment, I will automatically read it. 
So this is giving me We Walk the Skies vibes, which was one of my favorite books of the year so far, and I am so ready for it. So this follows 17 year old Corey, who has been part of a traveling circus her entire life and has always known that lifestyle where she doesn't really have any sort of roots set anywhere. While they are stopped somewhere in Southern California to do a show, she ends up meeting a boy at a diner and their relationship starts to progress from there. So she's kind of confused about what she should do because her life is always traveling. She can't set roots down anywhere, but she really likes this guy. Um, when the big top of her show catches on fire and tragedy strikes and she barely makes it out alive, but basically her entire life just went up in flames. So it's basically her trying to figure out how to have a life outside of this lifestyle that she's always had, that's always moving. So it sounds great. I can't wait. It sounds very similar to We Walk the Sky where it's very symbolic of like she's always spent the life as like a trapeze artist and now she has to put her feet firmly on the ground. You know the symbolism? It's lovely. I'm feeling it. So September 10th is when we can get this one. Okay moving on to September 17th the next Tuesday we are moving into another book that I have already read and I just really want to hype up and spread the love for and that is The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams. I read this a couple months ago and I adored it. If you were looking for like the perfect really fun fall read like will get you in Halloween vibes without taking itself too seriously it's this book this is basically like the babysitters club meets Buffy and it was everything like it was just such a fun ride of a book that really didn't take itself too seriously and sometimes you just really need that so this basically follows um, a girl who with her best friend runs a babysitters club and it's literally just them hanging out when a new girl moves into town and joins their club and, and weird things kind of start happening. It follows a lot of really tropey things that happen in these type of storylines in like early 90s movies, if you know what I'm saying. Like it's like playing on that. It's so good. So basically like these girls kind of have superpowers and the babysitters are like the saviors of the world. It's so great. I really enjoyed myself. So this one is coming out on September 17th. And the last book that I want to talk about is coming out on the 24th of September and that is The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones. I have not read this one yet so I'm just excited with you guys. So this follows Rin who is a grave digger and the cemetery that she works at is at the base of a fey mountain. That right there is enough to grab me and make me want to read this book. Like the fact that we're following a really dark little morbid character who is a grave digger in a cemetery at the base of a fey mountain. Yeah, sign me up for that. But the tagline that really got me is the problem with being a grave digger though is that the dead don't always stay dead. So basically, zombies are in this book and they are known as bone houses and they start attacking the town. So she bands together with Ellis who is an apprentice map maker with a mysterious past um, to help save the town from all of the corpses that are rising up from this graveyard. I mean that's a perfect fall book as well. So if you want something a little bit darker than the babysitter's coven, maybe a little bit more messed up, I have a feeling this is the direction we're going. I am so excited to read this book. I think this is gonna be one of the next ones that I pick up. Uh, sounds great. Sounds awesome. Sounds like the perfect horror story that I really need in my life right now. Okay, so those are all of the books that I wanted to talk to you guys about. That was a long list. There are many books coming out. Brace yourselves, prepare your bank accounts, set aside some money for September because it's gonna be bonkers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are looking forward to any of these books, let me know down in the comments what you're like most anticipating. I feel like Dark Dawn is at the top of almost everybody's list. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one.